Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to Claire Audient, Truth Speaker, my loves. I will. Everyone is doing amazing today. It's Thursday, Door Thursday. Today is uh, the ruling planet Jupiter's day. So this is a great day to uh, do some uh, money manifestation rituals. Um, how are we doing, beloveds? Everybody feeling good? I will. You all are. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I cannot complain. Even if I could, I wouldn't. <laughs> because I know y'all don't want to hear that. I don't even want to hear it. So, <laughs> but um, as you can see, we're going to tap in. We're going to tap in, see what's coming in, see what's going out, see what's going on. I want to welcome any of you beautiful souls that may be new to the Soul Tribe. I go by the name of Q. A channel message is intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So the way that things work on my side of the planet is I do incorporate music into my readings and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe the timestamp on the clock, maybe the numbers on the cards will all correlate to whatever I may be channeling intuitively and it all just kind of blends very beautifully with what the cards also have to show. Um, a train just went by so I don't know if you all are moving and shaking. Uh, some of you could be relocating, could be moving to another locality. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're going away for your solar returns, for your physical days. Maybe you're being gifted um, a trip somewhere. I'm here in Louisiana. I'm here in Las Vegas. I'm here in California. Uh, some of you may be going to like the UK, to Europe. Um, Germany, I'm here in Amsterdam. Some of y'all might be getting some of that good smoke from Amsterdam. Um, but I'm getting a sense of travel. Um, I'm even here in Italy, uh, Greece, you know, um, Mexico. So some of y'all might be having some, some really dope plans in the making. I'm here in Dominican Republic, DR, uh, Brazil. So, you know, travel safely. Definitely make sure to, um, you know, travel safely. Um, enjoy yourselves. This is your season. So, you know, definitely put you first. Um, I just lost my my stone. I'm not digging anywhere. <laughs> I'm just getting my stone. It's right here. It fell. But um, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm here in travel. Um, I'm also getting a sense of someone's kind of like um, daydreaming about you, thinking about you. Someone that could be at a distance. Someone may feel a sense of distance between you and them. Um, maybe emotional distance, maybe physical distance. Maybe this is someone you haven't spoken to or heard from in quite some time. I get a sense of someone wanting to close the gap on that distance um you know because i feel like you you're, you're just like shining right now scorpios like your light is very bright right now and so it's really alluring to folks who are uh, kind of watching you know people that you are not even aware of are paying close attention people are really um you know tuning in if you will so you know give them something to look at beloveds you know hey katara is per huge she's coming to make her debut and she always loves to sit right where I have to put the cards. Here, stay right here with Grandma. <laughs> you know, but um, she's the... I don't know if you all have cats that, you know, like belly rubs, but she loves her belly getting rubbed, you know. And I know that's not usual because uh, that's a very sensitive spot for, you know, for cats. But she loves it. She's just like a little puppy in that right, you know. But um, <clears throat> so she's coming to say good day. So you know it's going to be a good reading. When, when little Katara shows up. Hi, friend. That friend, do That baby friend, do She's the best. Oh, she's so special. Oh, she's the bestest. She's the bestest. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. I welcome anyone that may be new to the platform, to the channel. Hope that the messages resonate, beloved. And if they do, please be kind. And uh, rotate the love. Reciprocate the love by um, liking the video. Like the video, subscribe to the Soul Tribe. Um, blessings to all of my beautiful Soul Tribe Soul family. You already know what it is. Love is love is love is love. I appreciate all of my A1s, Day 1s. Can you not rub on here? You're going to knock my computer down. Here, let me let me scratch your itch. You just want to be rubbed. That friend or that baby friend. You're going to knock my computer down, girl. All right, so let's dive right in. I will everyone is peace. Katara, okay, I got to move you because you, you, you like, you're doing too much and you're going to knock my stuff down. I, I got my computer propped up on a box just to give me a little bit of leverage. I just saw 444, so the angels are walking with you. Um, that message already channeled in before that you are walking with giants. Um, 
ascended masters ancestors they're they're protecting you and in the last reading you know I, I caught 144 um, on the time clock and uh, you know what they say about 144,000 chosen ones so I've been saying for a couple of years that a lot of you that tune in and tap in Scorpios are absolutely um, chosen you've been ushered into you know your birthright there's just something very special about you and that's why you're here that's why your journey has been as tumultuous as it has that's why you've had to heal at a soul level and come out of that so that you could help you know kind of keep the door ajar to help others walk through their rites of passage so without further ado we're going to dive right in we're going to proceed with the read but you already know what we got to do we got to do some house cleaning our shape let's get that going I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Yo! So we currently have a nine on the clock. And we got Brother A.A. A. Rashid. And the name of the song is called um, Better Not Fentanyl. And so it's 12.51 on the clock. That breaks down to 9, if you can see that. And better not fentanyl is another way of saying, like, don't overdose. A lot of people have overdosed, overdosed um, you know, from fentanyl overdose. Um, some of y'all could be from Brooklyn. Someone's name may be Rashid or have an A in their name. AA um, is also an acronym for Archangel. Uh, so I definitely feel like some of you all... Um, you know, it could be maybe there's some of you that could have been struggling with, with addictions. Um, I'm getting a sense of someone struggling with an addiction or battling addiction. It could be drugs. It could be drinking. Um, it could even be, you know, uh, pornography, like being um, sexually addicted. Uh, but I feel like, you know, some of you could be battling with addictions and could be praying to your angels, your ancestors. I did see that 444 um, on the clock as well. So I do feel like your angels are protecting you, are covering you. Um, and I do feel like they, they, they're really giving you the strength required. If you are battling this, if this isn't your energy, this is someone else, um, you know, in your energetic field that could be struggling with addiction. Maybe you're someone's, you know, kind of like you're their shoulder or their support. And you could be really trying to, um, assist someone, who may be dealing with, you know, some sort of inner demons, you know, battling some sort of inner demons. So I, I absolutely feel like you could be someone's like earth angel in that regard. Maybe you have made yourself available for this person to communicate with. You can have been counseling someone through uh, some of their difficulties. Maybe someone has called you right in the midst of when they felt temptation to use. Um, but I just get a sense of someone struggling or battling with an addiction. Um, or maybe this is something that someone has overcome, um, is overcome an addiction, and it was doing part to, you know, your, your angels pull through for you. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a sense of that. Uh, with that nine, we already know that that deals with the, um, with the hermit. So I feel like there's been a lot of time um, reflecting. Someone has really been doing a lot of internal work, uh, and some of these things they've been uh, discovering um, it only led to the truth that someone may have been dealing with or struggling with addictions. Um, water signs, Scorpios especially, tend to have addictive personalities. So if this is your energy, um, I do feel like, you know, um, whenever you feel that temptation, 
you know, call on your angels. Because I was just getting with this AA, you know, in the name AA Rashid. Um, and I'm getting a sense because the name of this album is The Nod. And so I'm, I'm, I'm just getting a sense of like, um, if someone was using, they was using something very heavy, like I'm getting heroin, you know, like heroin. I, we call it heroin, but I'm, I'm getting like heroin, like somebody, because that's what, that's the effect of heroin. You, you tend to nod, um, you know, it, it, it's really a, a very strong, um, that can have a stronghold on you, that, that addiction, because you physically get sick when you don't use. Um, I know very, you know, um, I know a lot about that addiction uh, not personally because of my usage, but because my father battled with that uh, when I was younger. He battled with um, heroin addiction. So I, I saw firsthand how uh, that addiction, you know, how it could really, um, it could really damage you, you know. Uh, but I also saw my father come up out of that addiction and, um, you know, heal himself and, and convert uh, to Muslim you know, to the Islamic um, religion, and it really saved his life. Uh, so, you know, some of you all, I do feel, are going through, you know, growing through uh, some sort of battle. Um, and so I commend y'all for just, you know, because, you know, the, 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 the only way you could really um, overcome any type of addiction is you have to first admit you have an addiction. Uh, a lot of people, they that's why they just use... Um, you know, because they think that they're just uh, functioning addicts, but the, the the drug has a whole, it's taken a toll on them. But that's just what I'm picking up. I don't know if you all have grew up in homes where you had thick parents or mothers or fathers who struggle with addiction. Uh, maybe that's another, you know, that's another download I'm getting is that, you know, if this wasn't you per se, maybe this is a loved one that battled with it and you were their support system. Maybe you were a child of a parent that struggled with addiction. If it wasn't heroin, it could have been crack cocaine. It could have been Coke. It could have been, you know, um, it could have been, a, you know, a plethora of things, but you know, maybe it was, um, alcoholism. Um, and you may have had to, um, raise yourselves. You may have had to grow through a lot of, um, a lot of trauma on your own, you know, and, uh, I just feel like, you know, especially with the nine, um, you're very spiritually strong, whether you realize it or not. That's why I was, you know, picking up on, um, you know, the 144 from the former reading, which is the number of the chosen ones. Um, none of the things you grow through in life are accidental or by happenstance. It's what, you know, what's written in the stars for you. This is a part of your, um, your journey. This is a part of your destiny. And the only way out is through. So you have to grow through it. You know, you can't, you can't, um, you can't avoid the inevitable, so to speak. So for many of you, you may have had to raise yourselves, heal yourselves. You didn't have much of a support system, um, you know, within your family tree, but you always could rely on your angels. You always could rely on, you know, perhaps your uh, spiritual parents or your deities, or uh, maybe you were someone who just really always felt um, that you had a purpose here. And as I said, that nine is the hermit that's like a wizard. Uh, he knows or she knows the answers he seeks or she seeks are found within. I just saw 1344, which is again, 444. So that's just confirmation that your angels are with you. Um, they're the ones who you consult when you're in that cave, you know, uh, you're communicating or consulting with your higher self. You're tapping in to that Christ consciousness, that God frequency. You're holding on to the hope and optimism to manifest the life or the future that you envision for yourself. But you also, you know, are very much aware that you got to go within in order to um, to find those answers as well. So this is beautiful energy. So let's see. So with this um, A.A. Rashid, like I said, um, also um, someone could be from Brooklyn. Um, so we got Prince right now, and this is called Welcome to America. So some of you all could definitely uh, be returning from you know, those trips that I was picking up on and channeling earlier. Some of you could be returning home from a trip. 
uh, from, you know, some um, foreign country. Uh, I feel someone was definitely like treating you because I get like a Prince Charming, maybe some masculine energy or maybe even a feminine energy. Just someone very loving, like someone could have done something very thoughtful, like, you know, purchase you a trip for your solar return. Um, just being very generous, very kind, very thoughtful. Um, I see the 88. This is uh, the abundance card. So emotionally, you are feeling very fulfilled right now. I also get a sense of like, you know, wish fulfillments and blessings. Opportunities are definitely rushing in. I see movement. I absolutely see a lot of movement. This is a solid pink card. So I do feel like you feel very comfortable in your own skin. You feel very satisfied. You feel very overjoyed. Um, you may have received some very good news about perhaps, uh, you know, career endeavors, maybe love. You could have heard from someone during your solar return that just reached out out of the blue that you haven't heard from in a while. I absolutely see things moving forward for you because this 16 breaks down to the 7 and the 7 does deal with that chariot energy. So I am getting a strong sense of like miracles and blessings and answers to your prayers. And yes, answers are all coming in. And this has a lot to do with the work you've put in, the seeds that you've sown. I feel you're also attracting someone that's made in your likeness, another like mind, someone on the same frequency and vibration. I feel spirit is saying that you are coming into alignment with someone who's going to match your fly, someone who's going to kind of speak your love language also. Um, this is absolutely someone um, very strong, but also willing to, uh, you know, plant seeds and roots and build and cultivate and nurture a uh, connection very intentionally. Uh, I get a devoted energy. I get someone very practical. I get someone very resourceful, but I also get someone very supportive, very loving. Um, in a way that you need, in a way that you require, in a way that you discovered, um, you know, you know, is, 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 um, you know, essential for you. Uh, but this is beautiful. So on the split, we have 85. What did I say about a wish fulfillment? It says, follow your dreams. Someone could be following you because they feel you're a, we, uh, a wish for, um, come true or a dream come true. Uh, 1717 is 88 again. So absolutely you're going to be fulfilled. I feel you're also, you know, very fearless right now because that eight does deal with the strength card. So you are asserting yourself more, going after your dreams um, and turning those dreams into reality because you've discovered that you absolutely are, you know, you are the alchemist, you are the magi in your life. Uh, you are the sorcerer, sorceress. You you absolutely can manifest your thoughts into reality. Um, this four and this seven reduces to 11. So many of you are getting your just due. And as I said, the seeds that you've sowed in the past are now harvesting. You're receiving a carnucopia, blessings, um, abundance is just saying that, you know, there's definitely um, an infinite supply. Because when you turn these eight sideways, this is like the infinity symbol. So I just get a sense of like infinite supply. Uh, better days ahead. I feel you're very satisfied. I also feel someone sees you um, as a wish fulfillment and whoever this is that may see you as a wish fulfillment. This could very well be someone that you will also deem as a wish fulfillment because I feel like, as I said, you both share so much in common. Um, the synergy, the chemistry, um, just your history, you know, history, her story. Um, it's just going to be very common. It's going to be just like very much, um, you know, you're going to draw these parallels together. So that's beautiful. So what we have playing right now, like I said, is Prince. So you're going to welcome this person in because I do feel like, you know, in rising power to Prince, um, someone's name could be, um, Roger. Someone could be from Minneapolis. I believe that's where Prince is from. Um, but I do feel and look at that spiritual career. So everything that you've been learning on your journey has prepared you to embark upon some new spiritual career. As I said, a lot of you are chosen. You have been, you know, truly ushered into and have walked through some sort of rites of passage. You've been maturing and growing in your spiritual strength, um, learning and uh, really just healing. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. A lot of you are very psychic. You could be empaths. You could be intuitives. Uh, you could be clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient. Uh, some of you all may be astral travelers. I feel like you know someone is coming in. You also realize um, what your purposes or your soul's mission or your life's mission is um, because you are following your heart, because you're following and prioritizing your passion. 
Uh, so these cards want to jump out of my hand. So we have the number two, patience. So you definitely are intuitives. The two deals with that high priestess or high priest. And we have the 41, it says self-discipline. So these are all what's um, overall energy. And we got 56, relationship change. So we have two, seven, nine. So we started off the reading with nine and these all reduced to nine. So this is how you've reached, um, you know, that, that level of self mastery, because that, that hermit energy is really, um, a wizard, as I said, very spiritually strong, very emotionally, mentally, um, strong. So they know to remove themselves from the outside noise, to seek the answers, to not, you know, uh, depend upon outside sources to reach some level of, um, inner standing. Nine is also the highest number of change. Um, with don't look any further, we got Dennis Edwards, someone's name could be Dennis or Edwards. Um, so with don't look any further, I feel like you chose to go within, you know, because, um, your outside world does reflect your inside world, you know? Uh, so if you are kind of like at Kate, you know, in, 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 in turmoil, I should say, um, internally, your outside world will reflect that. Uh, so that's why it's very important to heal at a soul level, to go within, to take those internal self audits so that you can heal, uh, you know, any traumas that may still be lingering, um, with patience, it does require patience for you to embark upon whatever change is necessary with this two and this four and this one, um, that does reduce to seven, as I said. So that is really when you found the balance, the balance is essential, um, when you're doing anything, you have to make sure because too much of anything isn't good. So it's very good to be in harmony. And I feel like, you know, being patient with yourself allow for you to meditate, to contemplate, to get things straight. So this is showing that, that ability to kind of balance things, that dualistic energy of the masculine and feminine. It's like you have mastered the attributes and characteristics of both of those, you know, those energies. And this is, you know, what you reach, you, re you reach that level of self master, uh, self mastery because you're now more disciplined when you're disciplined. Um, you stand on, um, you stand on your square, but you also stand on your, your, your purpose. You know, um, you don't just do things to go along, to get along, you know, you're disciplined enough to know when to say no, you're disciplined enough to know when to say, yes, my earring just fell off. Um, but it's like you're very disciplined, which means you are uh, very focused on your self-love, your self-care, uh, because you know your self-worth. So, you know, that's why your relationships may have changed. Um, things are changing for the better because this 56, that's 11. So you're getting your just due. 11 deals with the justice card. As I said, all of these cards together reduces to the number nine. So that nine, the wizard um, is definitely someone who is very skilled, uh, but now he can enact, you know, any change, you know, that is required, uh, to, to seek out or, um, to search out, you know, the, what, what makes them happy. Uh, because I'm also seeing like the nine of pentacles in my mind's eye, someone very stable, self-sufficient, independent, um, you know, and when you make a decision to, you know, remove yourself from, from relationships that are no longer serving you or, you know, situations that are no longer serving you. Um, that shows a level of strength as well. And I see that you didn't rush, uh, to make any side, you know, any type of decisions. I feel like, you know, you really took your time, you know, take your time. You took your time to get things right. Um, but I'm also seeing that nine of cups as well. You're being selfish. You're loving you, yourself, and you prioritizing you. And whenever you love yourself, that always makes you more attractive. So, you know, I feel you're happier now. We got Mary J. Blige, be happy. Um, so many of you are very happy now because you are feeling this level of, you know, independence, which is the foundation for your happiness. On the bottom of the deck, we have the number five. So changes have, you know, really taken place, as I said. A lot of change. I feel you may have a conversation um, that's going to perhaps change your perspective or change things for you as well. You know, something's coming. Someone could be dealing with Mary. I also feel I'm hearing Mary Magdalene is the one that's going to bring about some sort of blessing or a miracle. 
and this is going to change your life for the better. So let's go ahead. Those cards chose themselves. So the honor spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get some messages for my beloved Scorpio spirit. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for my beloved Scorpios. What's coming in, going out, going on. Let's pick up on the energy. We're going to pull the energy for who or what you're attracting to you. Thank you, spirit. So this card spat out. Bottom of the deck, 48, financial discipline. So you've been working on your coins, working on your stability, really, you know, mastering a craft. I just see you like really working on projects, working on different, you know, different, um, different things, you know, like mastering your craft, you know, really um, growing and learning. And maybe you've been uh, taking classes. But I also see collaborations I see you building and forming new alliances you know new partnerships new unions new connections and these bring joy you know you feel fulfilled this is what you've learned to do you know is like you know you've learned to take a step back and to assess things appropriately to not be so emotionally invested in things first but to really you know make sure that things you know, are, are like, you know, that, the, that it's, it fits, you know, that it's fitting, that it, it's, it's, um, a good fit for you. So it's like, this is what you've learned to do is to, you know, kind of get out of the emotions, but also use logic, you know, that seven deals with the crown. So it's like, you're, you're assessing things more closely, you know, you may be checking for the red flags or you're looking at things from a bird's eye view, but it's like, this is why you're so disciplined because you, you have the 41 discipline and now you have financial discipline. So this is what's bringing about that independence. Like I said, it's like now maybe you're more, um, you know, you're on some sort of path to, um, you know, really like working on your credit, building your savings, um, becoming more uh, financially literate, you know. So that's dope. So we have 22 intuition. So who or what you're attracting to you? You got 222 two, two here. And we got 85 follow your dreams. So that card flew right back out. So you're attracting someone that definitely feels your wish fulfillment. This 85 breaks down to 13. Someone could have gone through some major transformation that you're attracting. Maybe this is because you've been through some enormous change in your life, you know, startling metamorphosis that you are now, you know, manifesting and um, going after your dreams, being bold, being risky, risky and daring, you know, um, you're going after your heart's truest desires and spirit is telling you to also trust, you know, your intuition. We saw 44. So we have um, 44 here. We saw 444 rather, and we have 44 here. So this is giving me a sense of like, you know, you're attracting love as well. This is eight. Someone could be mustering up the strength to come towards you because they are seeing you as a star. They are seeing you as someone who's turned your vulnerabilities into a superpower. They are seeing that you're very balanced, you know, that you tap into your alchemical force to manifest and they want to collaborate because this gives me like the three of pentacles. You know, this is someone that wants to build, wants to nurture, wants to cultivate. How does this person, our beloved Scorpios, feel? How do they feel about our beloved Scorpios? How does this person, Scorpios, are attracting to them feel about them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So this card also wants to jump out. And so we have 91 surrender. They want you to surrender because they do feel like you may be a little closed up, clammed up, maybe blocked off. I did pick up on distance, you know. So this card is 66 healing. So they know that you're growing through some sort of healing process. So they're assessing you. They're watching you because that 12, that the 66 breaks down to is the um, hangman. So this does, this is someone that does watch you, but I also feel they're healing as well. They've been through some things in their life's time, in their life that they're healing from. And perhaps, you know, when you two communicate, um, all of this will come to light. You know, it, be, it will become very evident um, that this person is on your frequency because as I said, you will share a lot in common. I already see two numbers that are double, rather three numbers that are double. And for those that may be new, whenever I see double numbers, I feel like this is you attracting someone made in your like likeness. So with the two, two, 
pardon me, that's that energy of, um, you know, the intuition. So this could be another person that's very intuitive. And remember, we pulled this too, and it says um, patience. And I was telling you that that was the high priestess. So I do feel like, you know, intuitively, you could be picking up on the fact that something could be, you know, kind of coming in. Um, or someone could be coming in, some wishes, some blessings could be coming in. Um, but I also feel like whoever's coming in has done, you know, similar work, similar internal work, you know, that you have done. Because um, this is how they see you. Um, so we have 67. So you have four numbers that are double. So we have 6713 that says uh, physical activity. So this is someone that will put forth the effort. Um, they also know that you have been very um, instrumental in, you know, your healing. Like I said earlier, they see you as a star. So they see that you have been very, um, very strong in, you know, just healing yourself because you've turned whatever vulnerabilities into superpowers. And your your strength is very admirable um, because they, they see that you've put in the work. They can see the change in you. They can see the growth. They can see your evolution. Um, with 9-9 nine, nine Compassion, this could be someone that you're familiar with. That's yet another double number. And I was picking up on the 9, the, herm, the herm, um, hermit, because we did see that hermit. So this is someone that is also kind of like in, in um, isolation as well. Um, I feel that there's a lot of energy mirroring because you both could, uh, you know, this could be like a soulmate connection here because I just see so many, you know, like I said, parallels, even in this story as I'm telling it. Um, they want you to forgive them if this is someone you're familiar with. Uh, they definitely, you know, don't want to be judged. Um, and I feel this is more so what spirit is telling you. Um, as well, you know, uh, maybe this is how they see you as a very compassionate, caring, nurturing soul. You know, I did say the word like earth angel. I was picking up on someone seeing you like an earth angel. And with 55 adventure, I was also feeling like, you know, there's some excitement. There's some, you know, some spontaneity that's going to take place now because when you grow through a lot of trauma and you end karmic cycles, you know, that's a dark period. There's not much excitement other than the drama that you are trying to get away from and the, you know, just the tumultuous circumstances. But I feel now it's like you are off on a new venture, which is going to be more exciting. I feel like you're going to be more spontaneous. This person may want to come in and, and bring a little bit of excitement and spontaneity into your life, you know, kind of take you out of, you know, your comfort zone a little bit. And we have Dave East. Someone could be on the East Coast. Someone's name could be Dave. And it says how we live in. Um, the name of the song is how we live in. So this is what they want to do. It's like this person wants to bring some excitement, you know, some adventure. That's how they want to live. They want to have this, this new start because this is 55. That breaks down to one. That five is the Hierophant. So both of you have learned something very important about life and you know, and, and, you know, putting a little bit of excitement, you know, being sure, being mindful to implement self-care doing, you know, you can't be all work, no place, so to speak. So it's like, that's what this person is realizing is like, they want to bring that excitement. Three, 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 number of the ascended masters. That's a message. Spirit is also saying is like, you need excitement. You need that, 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 that thrill, you know, and three, 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 three breaks down to 12. So this could be someone who's really finally having some sort of um, epiphany, 71 health. So you're, you could be getting stronger if you were suffering from certain ailments. Um, if any of you had surgery or, you know, any operative, um, you know, um, circumstances like, you know, I feel like that, th that you're getting stronger. I also feel someone stressing you. Like someone's like, I hear, I heard stressing you. Like someone's really like stressing you, like up in their head. And this is like ruminating, overthinking. This is someone that's like stressing on how to take action, perhaps. You know, this is someone that's like stressing on what action to take. <laughs> you know, like they don't know how to come at you. 
What's hidden is I feel they eventually just surrender and get out of their head. You know, because I always feel this is like the Eight of Swords because, you know, this is the crown. The number seven is the crown. One is the root chakra. So maybe there's something in this person's childhood, um, you know, where they didn't really um, feel confident or didn't assert themselves. So they kind of hold back when it comes to emoting or expressing um, how they feel. So this causes a lot of anxiety, stress and unnecessary worry but this is all self-imposed but i do feel like they kind of surrender and break free it's like they fear less and just you know take the leap because this is right next to the 55 it's like they're going to be daring they're just going to take the leap and go after what it is they want so what's um hidden in the energy for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection beautiful spirit let me get a message of peace power and protection thank you spirit so the bottom of the deck, we got 19 pride. That's what's holding this person back. That's what's causing them a lot of anxiety. You know, the pride has been, you know, it's been the thing that's kept them kind of going. You know, it's like a mask that you could put on, a facade that you can parade around. Um, but you could see right through this person and that's what they realize. And that's what brings a lot of anxieties because they know you're intuitive. You know, they know you'll see through the illusion, so to speak. So we have rebirth. So there has been a transformation, but there's also been this, this, this illumination or this um, emergence of uh, a very different person who has a completely different perspective from what you may, you know, maybe this is your energy and how they perceive you because they see you as someone who has been growing as well. That 13 deals with the death and the rebirth is, you know, the aftermath of, you know, going through death, going through, um, you know, that transformation. So you rise, you know, like the phoenix with that 16, the 7, the personal growth we saw earlier, personal growth card. That's what this is. You've grown through that experience. Whatever isn't dead, um, what is that saying? Whatever isn't growing is dead. But you were growing, so you continue to grow, you know. And you are now a different person. And we have music half crazy playing. So someone was really um, going a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over you because I feel like you cut someone off. I feel like when you when you went through your transformation, you created that, that distance. You could have moved away because I was picking up on someone moving away or someone who has moved away, someone at a distance. There'd be an emotional distance, physical distance, no communication. But something is changing with the seven. I feel like someone is finally like asserting themselves or um, implementing some necessary change because they've assessed something. This is right next to the 66 healing, which is the 12. It breaks down the 12, which is the three. So they see you as an empress. You know, they see you as someone, even if you're masculine, an emperor, someone who's take charge, someone who knows their worth, someone who knows their value. So you don't settle anymore. And you've taken the time to work on yourself to, you know, implement the change necessary to continue to grow. They see your evolution or your ascension. And so this has sparked or triggered or kind of activated them to do their own work to grow, you know. So we also have spiritual career. So as every great healer tends to um, have to, you know, heal themselves, you know, every great healer does that. So perhaps you all will be. Um, you know, assisting others, you know, like I said, helping to, you know, usher in that new wave of light workers and healers and shamans. Many of you, as I said, are chosen, very intuitive, very psychic. You could be scryers, channelers of some sort. Then you have seven and six, that's 13. This is the transformation. So the death was of old concepts, ideologies, and belief systems, and the birthing, the rebirth is, you know, coming into a truth of who you are, having victories, um, because you're living in your authenticity now. You know, when you're living under the facade and with the false egos, then you will not have the happiness and the joy um, and the blessings that you desire. It'll almost make you feel like you're going crazy. You know, that's why music is singing, you know, half crazy. But I feel like when you do the work, um, that's when you can see the rewards. You reap the rewards when you do the work, when you... When you actually plant the seed and not just plant the seed and forget about it, but nurture it, water it, cultivate the earth. So your cards chose themselves. Got 91. Surrender still on the bottom of the deck. 
So the outcome is you have 44 environment. So your blessings are closer than you can imagine. I also feel someone that you know, someone you're familiar with, someone you've planted seeds, roots, someone that you could have possibly worked with, someone you could have lived in the same community, you could have frequented the same gym, the same grocery store, you could, you know what I'm saying? You could just cross paths on a frequent basis. This is someone coming in. I feel this is someone that is, you know, coming at you with a lot of love. I feel like they're opening up their heart chakra because this is 22-4. And remember, who or what you're attracting to, you had two fours here as well. So this is 4, 85 is 4, and then this is 22, 4. So your outcome is this person does finally get out of their head, follow their intuition, and they take action and come towards you. And I feel whoever this is, I feel they have healed at a soul level. They have this, you know, emotional um, intelligence now. And it's because they are matching your fly, your vibration, your frequency. As I said, every great healer has to first heal themselves. So you may have triggered or activated someone um, to do their internal work. And now they're they're coming. They're approaching is what I'm hearing. And you got four. Remember, we saw four, four, four. So it's coming out. This is someone your angels and ancestors are aligning with you. You know, you got D'Angelo, me and those dreamy eyes of mine. So this person definitely dreams of you a lot. They may like your eyes. You may have some beautiful, um, beautiful shaped eyes, beautiful colored eyes. You may have very penetrating eyes. Most Scorpios have very penetrating, deep penetrating eyes. I find a lot of people find it difficult to look me in my eyes when I'm really like gazing at them or staring at them. Um, I feel like they, you know, it's kind of like they start turning away. But you may have a very intense uh, kind of stare, you know, very mesmerizing eyes. But your angels are aligning you with something. I feel like you got some sort of blessing. I told you you was walking with giants and I see that here very clearly. You got six love. So they are ushering this new love. This is like a past life love. This could be the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. This could be like a soulmate, as I said earlier, because I was picking up like there's so many um, parallels here in this reading that this has to be someone that spirit is aligning you with. This has to be someone that is a like mind um, that's been through similar um, experiences so you both can complement one another. I even get a sense of you both being um, chosen to uh, align to help, you know, um, to help, um, you know, the soul tribe, you know, the, the collective. We have 63 parenting nine. So I'm also getting a sense because I was picking up um, earlier, I was channeling in on, you know, someone who may have had parents who um, struggled with addiction during their upbringing. Um, and this could have affected your ability to love, your ability to trust. You had to really work from that root chakra, the base chakra, and work yourself all the way up. I just saw 42, 42, 6, 6. That's what you've been healing from. A lot of you are healing from childhood trauma, from, you know, familial trauma where you you had parents that um, struggled with addiction. And this nine is the number we started the reading. And that nine does deal uh, with the hermit. So there was a lot of reflection, a lot of soul work that you had to um, sort through. And you had to to forgive your parents you know that's why this compassion is here as well because you had to learn to forgive forgiveness isn't just for the other party but it's for you it it, it frees you from being so uh from being you know energetically anchored you know to that trauma so you had to forgive your parents as you forgive your parents then your love life can take off you know for many of you it took a lot for you to realize that fact that, you know, the way that your relationships, um, you know, the, the, the relationships you had with your, your mother or your father really stunted your love ships. And I saw 43, 43, which is seven, seven. And that breaks down to 14, which breaks down to five. So a lot of y'all wasn't even communicating with your own mothers and fathers. And I feel perhaps that's what spirit is saying you need to do is you need to communicate with your mothers and your fathers and heal that relationship so you can move forward, you know, even if healing, it doesn't require them being a part of your every day, but you just forgiving them. Uh, because when people struggle with addiction, um, it's, it, it literally, it, it becomes, it's not in your control. You know, my father was a heroin addict and he did the most ridiculous things, you know, to, to feed his habit, you know? So a lot of times we, we remember the trauma we experienced, 
um, where, you know, we had an absentee parent or, you know, they may have stolen things from the household or constantly in and out of jail. You may have felt embarrassed, but those are things that they were doing when they were under the influence, you know, their love never wavered Four, 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 four. So your angels are definitely telling you forgiveness is for you. As you forgive those who have hurt you, if you, as you forgive your parents, then you can usher in, you know, love. You can have, you know, the love that you deserve. You know, you can have the love that you have been calling in, perhaps. Maybe y'all have been manifesting love, desiring love on a deeper scale. scale. And with your dreamy eyes, maybe this is something you dream about, something you've been calling in and asking in. And I feel like Spirit is saying that wish fulfillment is absolutely coming. And I feel the more you open up your heart chakra, because I just get a sense of your heart being healed, because this green really just speaks to, you know, healing. And we already see that that was your energy. So it's like your heart is hosting love, you know, this loving and happy energy. So it's like, it's almost like calling in love. And look at that. We got the jack-o'-lantern protection card here. So as I said, you are protected. We saw 444, four, four, you know, several times in the reading. And then it actually came out in the reading with the cards. And I told you, you walk with giants. And this is confirmation because you have protection here, jack-o'-lantern. Some of y'all could have been born on, you know, October 30th, October 31st, November 1st, November 2nd, November 3rd. You know, I'm just getting like the day of the dead. I'm getting Halloween. I'm getting Halloween eat. Like I'm just, you know, seeing you all, you know, um, some of y'all could have been born during those times. Happy solar return to all of you um, whose solar return might be today. You know, whose solar return might be some of the aforementioned dates that I've just mentioned. Happy belated. So we have Barm Brock that says uh, sweetness and synergy. So I do feel like things are coming into harmony, 46, 46. So that just confirms that there are some, um, you know, some things that are turning around in your favor. I just see you're getting your just due because that 20 does deal with judgment, the judgment card. So there is like this wake up call. So a couple of your cards did. Oh, you got all of your cards, actually. So we have the veil, the future. So this is what you were working through or sorting through, beloveds, is you had to, um, you know, really heal the past in order to have um, this future. You know, like I said, that nine that all these cards reduce to, this is like that hermit energy, reflecting, introspecting, soul searching, you know, and then you are able and prepared to, you know, plan out your future, to, you know, envision a future when you heal from whatever past traumas you may have been dealing with. And this shows you that you have the ability to manifest by, you know, maintaining that sense of optimism, you know, because when you think of the hermit, he is, you know, looking at a lantern with the star in it. So that speaks to hope, that speaks to optimism, that speaks to you knowing, um, you know, what, what your birthright is, what's destined for you. You know, maybe you were, you know, kind of blinded to that fact in the past and you had to kind of break free from, you know, whatever that yoke was. And we have Mar um, Mahalia. This is called grateful. So the attitude of gratitude could have potentially, um, you know, just being thankful and grateful for, you know, coming out of those dark periods um, and still doing the work and still, you know, maintaining uh, that positivity, learning to trust your intuition because, you know, her eyes are covered, you know, but it's about seeing on a soul level. It's about using your intuition, using discernment. So you, you, you have to use that spiritual uh, GPS, your spiritual compass in order to navigate certain situations. And maybe that's what you didn't do in the past. Some of you could be named Ashanti, um, but some of you could have, you know, really felt foolish from, you know, former relationships where you felt blindsided. But now it's like you you have learned so much because, like I said, that hermit knows when to take that step away to go within to seek out the answers because whatever you were seeing with your two eyes, they were deceiving you, you know. Things weren't always what they appeared to be even. So next we have Night Song, Hidden Talents. 
So this is a cardinal bird. Some of you could be bumping in to this red cardinal. Whenever this beautiful animal totem crosses your path, that's a masculine energy. And I spoke to my father, um, you know, who struggled with addiction, who's in the spiritual realm. And I've recently seen uh, two red cardinals during my nature walks. So this is just letting you know that they are with you. They are guiding you. Um, you know, like I said, you walk with giants. 49, 49, that's eight on the clock. So that definitely is confirmation um, that they're the ones that are, you know, bringing some sort of answers or bringing some sort of wish fulfillment or, you know, helping you to move forward to, to take action or to, you know, just strengthen you in a way because that eight does deal with the strength. But I feel like a lot of you have been discovering um, you know, your, your talents, you've been discovering what your dreams, what your purposes are, what your birthright is, what your life's path or mission is, you know, trusting your intuition. There's a lot of downloads some of you all could be receiving as well. And this is leading you to, you know, pursuing those things and not, not backing down anymore, being fearless. You know, I feel like whatever it is you're doing or pursuing, you have a lot of passion. This red is a very passionate color. You know, and the red cardinals deal with masculine energy, whilst the brown cardinals are the feminine energy, that earth energy. So you may have a father, an uncle, a brother that uh, may have struggled with addiction. And I feel like the way that you could have navigated that pain and that trauma is by discovering what your talents were. And it was your ancestor, um, if this person has transitioned um, that was helping you along. If they're still in this felt, uh, spirit, I mean, if they're still in this realm, um, I feel like you may have had a lot of, you know, just angelic or um, divine um, interventions where spirit was kind of guiding you to, you know, kind of like focus on honing your skills, your gifts and talents um, in order to navigate certain pain, certain trauma. But this transformed your life for the better through, through discovering um you know what your gifts were you know and listening to your to your intuition that's beautiful so we have black cat here and it says fortune meets opportunity so you see that when you put the work in when you do the work then you get the reward a lot of you could be intuitives you definitely learned a lot of lessons books always denote knowledge so i feel like not only have you obtained knowledge but you've applied the knowledge so that now it's become wise dome and so now you are prepared for this spiritual career because whatever you've learned on your journey um how intuitive you are how psychic you are you now can you know pursue your own dream or open up your own spiritual practice and assist and aid others i feel a lot of you definitely had other people kind of watching and taking notes um, but I do feel like, you know, by the work that you've put forth, it's, it's absolutely like assuring that you have, um, success in your future blessings, you know? And so we have graveyard, unnecessary fear. So what did I say about someone being afraid? And that was, you know, kind of what was hindering them. Hence their need to have this false sense of pride and walking around with this facade. That's all based out of fear. So unnecessary fear is saying that there's nothing to fear but fear itself. You know, you got to get rid of the fear. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So someone finally has that death. Someone finally rises like the phoenix from the ashes. This is them regenerated, getting rid of the faulty belief systems, ideologies, habits, and behaviors, and facing everything and rising. So this is a beautiful energy. And now they have something that they can share, something they can teach to others. You know, they can help lead and guide and awaken others um to their power and we have um willie hutch and this is called i choose you so now someone is standing in their power ready to choose the course of action that they want to go in ready to choose you and we have spider it says community and web weaving so they want to choose you because they want to build this sense of community they want to build this sense of partnership like i said some are very intentional. I see a lot of orbs here. So there's a lot of angelic presence. There's a lot of energy um, aligning you with someone in particular. I feel like you're going to help a lot of people as well. You're going to assist a lot of people. You know, you've been really working um, very um, hard on, you know, building, you know, rebuilding. 
And spirit acknowledges this. Some of you could be bumping into spiders. You may have a spider in your home. And I'm hearing spirits say, do not, you know, do not harm that spider. You know, I mean, unless it's like a black widow or something like try to find a way to get it out, you know, but I, I feel like spirit is saying like, don't harm it. You know, I try not to like kill things now because it's like, I just feel such a connection to mother Gaia. Um, so I try to like kind of guide it out of my house or I'll kind of pick it up and throw it out, you know, out of my door or something. But I try not to kill things too much nowadays, like, because I feel like, you know, everything has a reason it has a right, you know, to live, you know, so I'm getting over my fear of them big ass water bugs, but, um, but yeah, you know, this is really showing like, you know, the work it takes a lot. You see how intricate this web is. So it's like, this is what spirit is seeing, like, you know, how intricate and how dedicated and ambitious you were, you know, in, in, you know, obtaining some skill. And I feel this is what draws in your community and what draws the attention because it's like people can see your value. People can see your, um, just your uniqueness, if you will. So what's hidden is I do feel like, you know, your soul tribe, your soul family is forming like Voltron, you know, and I feel like spirit is saying, you know, open up, surrender, be more receptive because these blessings that you've been asking for. So you see how these cards Kind of fell, finish my shuffle, um, my shuffle. So, yeah, I just said finish my suffer. So a lot of you are, you know, it's like whatever karmic lessons you were going through, whatever sufferation you were experiencing, it's finished, it's done. Because I, I slipped. There's no such thing as a coincidence or an accident. What I said was what was meant to be said. So it was a Freudian slip. So that means that it's the ending of sufferation. Maybe your, your your loved one, you know, maybe there's a period where they're finally kicking a habit. They're finally clean for a year, maybe for the past 10 months, maybe for the past 10 days, maybe for the past 10 years. Some, you know what I'm saying? Like someone is finally like, you know, kicking a habit or someone is finally over an addiction or someone's finally completing a cycle that's been just very arduous, very, um, very, um, very turbulent, very toxic, very, just a very, um, I just get volatile, you know, it's been, it's been hard. So you got a lot of messages that want to clarify these messages here. So you have eight manifestations. So you are manifesting your dreams, hopes, and desires. Things are coming into fruition for you. They're coming in quicker than you can imagine. So you have another, another eight here. And this is like, I liken this number eight also to the wish fulfillment, the star card, because that 17 does break down to the eight, which is 17 is the star card. So I do feel like something that you've been asking for, something you've been setting intention on, Spirit is saying it's coming. And not only is it coming, but it's going to make you feel very happy. I feel like you've, you're getting stronger in your ability to manifest or in your ability to um, draw in what you want. Maybe you've manifested someone being clean and sober. And I see um, Tri-State Gates featuring Benny the Butcher. This is called New York Natives. So some of y'all that are tuning in could be New York Natives, but you may reside somewhere else. I'm here in Florida. I'm here in Tennessee. I'm here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like some of y'all could be even in North Carolina. I'm here in Colorado, Arizona, but you're New York Natives. Some of y'all could be like from upstate New York, even Rome, New York, I heard B next to Beer Mountain, Poughkeepsie. I'm just hearing like upstate New York as well. 87 synchronicity, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. You may be bumping into black cats. Like I said, you may be finding little spiders in your home or running across a spider on your path. You may be bumping into red cardinals, you may be finding feathers. You may be finding entries in books that are resonating with your circumstance. There's no such thing as a coincidence, like I said, 58, 58, 13, 13. That just speaks to, you know, in 13, 13 is 4, 4, that's 8. So that's just, you know, saying something's manifesting. Something's coming. Something's in your energetic field. Something is quickly approaching you. This is that wish fulfillment. This is that blessing that many of you have been waiting for. Only you know what you've been calling in and asking for. 
And I feel like this leads to victory. This leads to a lot of success. And I also feel y'all know it, that it's coming. Because I feel like a lot of y'all very, you know, right now you're very sensitive. You're in your season. You also have one new beginning. So there's definitely, you know, a fresh start here. You have some really dope. And I pulled the wrong cards. I remember what I said about no such thing as coincidences. I put this box back, which is the Halloween deck. And I mistakenly, unknowingly pulled the numerology deck back out. So I pulled a bunch of messages, but hey, this is what I guess spirit wanted me to do. So you got a new beginning. This is assured. We already know you got a new beginning because we saw that you had a very uh, gloomy, dark end period that is ending. So that ending is leading to this beautiful, fresh start. You also have this creativity. So tap into your divinity, you know, and create, tap into your ability to express yourselves artistically, express yourselves creatively, express yourself, express your true self, your authentic self. You're tapping into that divine feminine, divine masculine. I also feel someone is seeing you as such. Someone's very passionate about you. Someone sees you as, you know, just a ray of sunlight. Someone very wise, someone very warm and inviting, someone very in tune, someone very down to earth and grounded, someone who earths their energy we also have this 88 abundance, which is what opened up the reading. So you have financial blessings. You have blossoming abundance. You have prosperity and wealth, unexpected income, even infinite supply, better days ahead. Like whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're creating, whatever you are um, birthing, whatever skills, gifts, talents you're birthing, it's going to lead to, um, you know, abundance. It's going to lead to some sort of uh, blessing, you know, where you will be financially free. You also have spiritual partnerships. So you are aligning with your divine purpose, uh, your purpose, your person, and your passion. And I absolutely feel like this is someone your angels were aligning you with because you had this here, the environment and the um, perseverance and then the love. So everything that you've persevered from, everything you've had to grow from, heal from, has prepared you for this very moment. You will meet your soul tribe, people that are like minds, like I said. That's what you're going to be bumping into more so now than ever. Because when you heal yourself, you're vibrating at such a high frequency that all of those low vibrational energies, they kind of fall. You know, and what you have right now is the temptations um, since I lost my baby. So a lot of people feel like they lost you. They just lost one. I'm hearing Lauren Hills. Do -do. You know, that Lauren Hill song. Someone could be from New Jersey, Newark, New Jersey, I heard. Someone's name could be Lauren. Someone definitely got over a hump, you know, or a bump in the road. We got 37 time out. So you did put some folks on time out. You did definitely create space. You did put up boundaries um, with individuals that were definitely trying to distract you off your path or were kind of using you, riding your coattail, being dishonest, deceptive. Maybe you've dealt with, the, you know, jealousy, envy. Um, whatever the case may be, I feel like you uh, made it very... Um, clear that you were not going to, you know, put up with the shenanigans. I feel like you really made it your business to just kind of take that time to work on yourself, to get back to one, to heal, to go within. Um, cause the one deals with the root chakra and that's really how you get to the root cause, whether you're dealing with familial trauma, childhood trauma, love ship trauma. Um, that's probably why I was picking up, um, you know, that energy of someone dealing with a parent who struggled with addiction, because that could have been some of the battles that you had to um, you know, you had to, um, fight, um, you know, in your journey, you know, so what we have here, remember we had uh, sweetness and synergy. So this is exactly why the spiritual partnership is here because everything is going to taste so much better now that you can appreciate, um, now that you could truly appreciate life. And also now that you truly know what your love language is now that you truly love thyself because you can only love thyself when you've healed thyself when you heal thyself you really know thyself so you know what you desire and i just saw 103 four, four, and that was four, four, four. So this is why things are opening up. This is why the blessings are coming in because you've learned what you deserve. You learn more importantly what your love language is and you're not settling anymore because you know that empress that emperor they know their worth and they know their value and they don't settle you know if anything they manifest what they want and so we have vampire here and it says emotional intelligence and that's exactly what i was saying that you become very intelligent emotionally um you when you heal 
you know, you get to look at things from the other person's perspective, you know, hence the 66 healing. So it's no longer a victimization of oneself. It's now, oh, I see what I did. So you're taking onus, you're taking accountability, taking responsibility even so that you don't go into the next scenario and duplicate the same mistakes you just made. Um, when you take onus and accountability, you don't repeat those mistakes, you know, um, or else you could just be repeating cycles. So this is showing that you've grown emotionally intelligent, which is absolutely what water signs are. They represent that emotional balance. Um, so this is beautiful. And we have um, cauldron synergy and healing. So you are in harmony, just as I said, things are feeling very harmonized. Things are feeling very, very much um, in the flow for you. Uh, so that's beautiful. So let's tap in. Okay, your cards are just jumping out of my hand. So we have enough of no love. I know my worth now. Bye. So you definitely walked away from people, places, and things that were not serving your highest good. You know, you, you displayed self-discipline, self-love, self-worth, self-care by prioritizing you, you know, and by be, being, being patient with yourself also. And, and also, like, paying attention to... The red flags and not just jumping and diving into situations so you could have walked away from people that were not serving your highest good you have not with the shits here so you were absolutely not playing with people um you know that were you know kind of wasting your time so you left this situation this is just confirmation that you've left situations so you also have this um this number seven here so this is showing that there's like, you know, this energy of like trusting your intuition, like I said, because when you have um, that veil over your eyes, that is saying that spirit is forcing you uh, to use your first eye to see, you know, so this veil uh, could have very much been, you know, the, the, the catalyst uh, to you perhaps missing certain details or missing the red flags or not seeing things that were hidden in plain sight. I also feel like with this ritual work invocation um, that there could have potentially been, you know, like a high priest or high priestess uh, trying to do some sort of voodoo, juju, hoodoo, or, you know, kind of manipulating someone's energy. We have oneness, so you could be really feeling very balanced. We're about to pull the energy of who or what you're attracting to you. So Spirit is saying this could potentially be the one. We have Big L. This is called Put It On. So Big L, some of y'all, I remember I was saying you just lost one, so I'm hearing L. Um, so I'm hearing like someone felt like they lost you. So, and, and when they lost you, they realized that you were in fact a wish fulfillment, which is why they could be following you or, um, you know, trying to, you know, send you a message because this bird, you know, birds represent, you know, angelic messages. So there could be some messages literally coming in the form of a phone call, a text message, a DM, an email, an actual letter in the mail, a card, or maybe someone may just, you know. Um, but just be thinking of you communicating with you intuitively or telepathically because remember we had intuition. So not only are you intuitive, but whoever you're attracting to you is also intuitive. So there could be some telepathic or intuitive messages. So why is this 22 intuition, 85 follow your dreams and nice song, hidden talent? It says happy house, happy spouse. So someone does see you as the yin to the yang. Someone can see themselves building, nurturing, cultivating, planting seeds and roots with you. This is someone that wants to be supportive. This is someone that feels like you bring happiness and joy into their life, that they love you. So why is 66 healing, 67 physical um, activity, 99 compassion, 55 adventure, 71 health, and black cat here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpio. So this says play a player from the Himalaya. So they may feel like you think they're playing a lot of games, and this could be why they're up in their head. You know, because they could have been very flighty in the past, in and out. Maybe they were emotionally stunted. They weren't on your level. You know, so they may feel like you may perceive them as someone that is a player. Um, let me get one more message. Spirit is saying, stop, look, listen. So use your intuition. Of course, that message has come out already. Let's go one more message. So they feel like you think that they are a player. They might think you a little player also because, you know, you're looking good. You know, you have, you know, options out here. So they may feel like you're playing the field, perhaps. And we have um, ill use of your ions, illusions. So they definitely um, are delusional. You know, they could be like a little, um, and that's why Spirit is saying, like, you know, you have to trust your intuition. Um, whoever this is with illusions, um, I feel like they were the ones that could have been wearing this, this mask or, you know, someone who could not have seen. They didn't see something clearly. You know, and um, 
that's why spirit was really saying that it's important to use your first side to see with attitude of gratitude i do feel now someone is finally having some sort of aha moment um because they do go through that rebirth so someone could have absolutely been operating and functioning you know in that ego and that pride that we saw earlier trying to be a player you know just delusional completely delusional as to who they were dealing with because when i you know when i was speaking to your energy scorpios i was just seeing 144 the chosen one someone who's you know birthright is to be a healer or some awakener or a shaman and, and this person's busy busy playing games and you know just completely delusional as to the goddess or the god that they're dealing with so now it's like they see it you know and now they're waking up because they are finally you know looking at you from a different perspective now they see your worth and value and they see all the work you know that you've done to reach this level of self-mastery um so with this attitude of gratitude now it's like they want to come in and they want to form and and, and, and cultivate a connection and build this, you know, relationship. Um, and they want to get out of this full sense of pride and ego. And, and they kind of want to come towards you. We have Lauren Hill. I just mentioned her and that lost one. But we got tell them. So now they're ready to tell you what they really truly feel about you. They're ready to really express and emote something that could have been held back for quite some time. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios. Why is the graveyard here? 16 rebirth, 78 spiritual career, spider community, and web weaving here for what's hidden in the energy from my beloved Scorpios. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. And we have music as my sanctuary. So someone could be into music. Someone definitely finds peace and salvation in music. Someone could be a musician. Someone could be an artist or songwriter. Someone could play instruments. Someone could be into sound therapy. Someone could perform sound baths. But I definitely feel like music is like someone's peace. We have access denied. Someone feels blocked. We have connect to your higher self. So this is needing to kind of meditate to get things straight. Um, and this is what they do. They tend to tap into their intuition and start, you know, listening to the intuition and utilizing discernment to navigate situations. So they're connecting to their higher self, which means that they are tapping into that Christ consciousness. And we have music soothes the soul. So this song right here, tell him. So maybe they're telling because who she's referring to is tell him is speaking to the most high God. So someone is taking all of their concerns, um, all of their worries to God, to the most high. So the music is their sanctuary. It brings them peace. It brings them answers. They feel blocked, you know, but they're telling whatever concerns or sharing whatever concerns they may have to their angels and their ancestors. What did I say about whatever isn't growing is dead live now? So someone is realizing they're not living in their authenticity or their truth. And that's what's going to cause um, that tower moment. That's what's going to cause a tower moment in someone's life where things, are, you know, whatever's not working out it's it's for the better but it's also awakening someone you know to um their true potential even so why is this 44 environment four perseverance six love 63 parenting eight manifestation 87 synchronicity one new beginning three creativity eight 88 uh, abundance 27 spiritual partnership time out 37 and vampire emotional um, intelligence and it says forgiveness is for your betterment so like I said I said that you know forgiveness is for you so that you're not anchored energetically emotionally spiritually to trauma um, this is for you to fly free beloved you also have fellowship poor libation socialize get out there so this is about getting out of you know this state where you know kind of like you're in that hermit mode just kind of isolated from the rest of the world someone is preparing to you know come back out and, um, you know, to co communicate and they're, you know, purging people, places and things, getting rid of what no longer serves them. And we have, it sounds good, but so spirit is always telling you, trust your intuition has come out a couple of times in this reading. Um, I want to get some messages from dark grimoire and then we're going to wrap it up on the bottom of the deck. We have the, uh, page of cups. So there could be a message, an emotional message. It could be some good news. Um, we got the, uh, two of pentacles. Someone could be coming in to apologize for juggling or trying to play games or hurting you in some way. You know, the Two of Pentacles usually is depicted as someone juggling. So this could have been someone that could have been playing the field. And you cut that ass off because you wasn't with the shits. Pardon my language, but that's just, you know, what we have. We got that card right here, literally. Not with the sh you know what I'm talking about? So you literally cut someone off. That Queen of Swords does not play. She definitely doesn't play 
with anyone trying to insult her intelligence. So whoever was trying to insult her intelligence and have you in this place of illusion, illusionment, disillusionment rather, um, you cut that off. You cut that energy off so you can see clearly everything that was going on. And we also see that you removed yourself from those situations. And now that you see what you was dealing with, um, remember what I said about alcoholism and drugs? You can see here clearly someone was drinking a lot. Someone was abusing drugs. Someone's now having this moment of reflection, an aha moment. And um, this could have been your energy. You could have cut someone off that you felt uh, was really abusing drugs or, you know, not really showing up for you, wasting a lot of time, wasting money. Um, but I feel like there were... Um, some decisions that someone has had to make. They had some sort of heart-to-heart -heart decision, you know, to, you know, perhaps stop. Um, maybe they went to a counselor. Maybe they've been going to, you know, therapy of some sort. Um, but I do get a sense of someone seeking help and, and obtaining it, you know. Um, and we have right now, um, will I see you again? So someone is definitely missing you that you cut off. And this is, who is this? This is the sacred souls. So will I see you again? This is what this person wonders. Will they see you again? What we have on the bottom of the deck is we nine the pentacles. Remember I mentioned the nine of pentacles. So this person now sees that you got your stuff together, that you're very independent now, that you've established a solid foundation for yourself. You've worked very hard to get to where you are. It wasn't easy. It's been quite the journey, but you have reached that level of stability and security all on your own. And we have here the ten of chalices. So who or what you're attracting to you, this is what's on the bottom of the deck. Someone definitely wants to just jump in, dive in. This is that person that wants to, you know, take that leap of faith. You can see this feminine is just kind of jumping into it. And it's like that's what they want because they feel like wherever the, it, they land, especially with you, it leads to this happy house, happy spouse dynamic. And, you know, the intuition is telling them to, you know, take the leap. This is someone that could potentially be coming in and communicating these things to you. So we got a couple of messages. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely something real, tangible, something that is very um, stable being offered here. You know, this could even be, you know, some some unexpected income coming in, a job offer, um, success in a business, success in any endeavor that you're pursuing. This is stability, you know, financial stability. This is generational wealth. You know, this is building and nurturing and cultivating that family. And this is also like, you know, someone has learned, you know, um, like I said, money management or has become um, very um, skilled or affluent in um, finances, stocks, investments. But this also represents family. It represents, you know, having stability in a family, financial stability, generational wealth. Having a support system, someone practical, resourceful. We also have this eight of chalices. So, you know, you, you have walked away from someone who was, you know, very delusional, painting pictures. You know, these, these you know, fake um, promises, you know, promising you the world. You know, this is almost like a con man. And, and she's not interested because she's learned, you know. So an, an illusion, what this person was selling you is an illusion. This is someone trying to play you, you know, this is someone and, and you've come to that realization. So you walked away from these connections. This is what they're, how they're feeling about you. It's like, you're not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe no more. Like this is, you know, really you growing and maturing and learning your worth and your value. That's powerful. Next card we have is the king of wands. So who or what you're attracting to you or what's hidden rather is someone very passionate, someone willing to take charge. This is someone that goes after what they want also. So whoever this is, they're very passionate king. This is someone that is, um, you know, a go-getter. Very good at manifesting as well. Very good at manifesting their desires. A hard worker, you know. And we also have this number two of swords. So there's decisions. So you're going to be making some real, you know, um, some real important decisions. You're going to choose very wisely the next course of actions. And there goes that star that I mentioned as well. So you are manifesting something uh, very beautiful, and I feel it's coming into fruition for you. You're, you're, you're making wise decisions. I feel you're going to have options. You're trusting what you feel, you know, and you have the three of pentacles. 
and I mentioned that. So this is definitely showing that you are um, really mastering your craft. You can see right here, like you're just like kind of like mastering your craft. You're 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 honing a skill. So your your skills are very unique. They're they're very well sought out as well. People believe in your gifts, believe in your talents. Someone is really, you know, wanting to come in and make an offer. This is someone that takes their time to get it right. Like, this is someone that's really, you know, watching and, you know, trying to figure out the best course of action. Someone that wants to, like, really offer you something real. And look at the Ten of Pentacles right here. This is the pinnacle of what they want. What did I say about them mustering up the strength and, 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 and the courage and wise doing? This is the strength card. So this is the fear that this person is dealing with. But they're going to eventually face it. If this is you, then that will be, you know, your energy. But I do feel like someone just deals with a lot of anxiety and stress. But they are, you know, someone could be kind of stuck in two minds trying to figure this out. But you are, in fact, their wish fulfillment. And they will eventually come towards you and take action to come towards you. Let's get some initials and some archangels. And then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Okay. And we're going to take this one. So we have the number two. So I'm getting the two of cups. But I'm also feeling like there's a decision. So choose wisely. Remember, use your intuition. That deals with the high priestess, the high priest. So something could be hidden in plain sight. I also feel like this is saying, you know, intention, be intentional. I feel you're also seen as very independent. You could be dealing with someone named Iris. I'm hearing Isis, Ingrid, Ivan. I'm also hearing with two in like, you know, search within, investigate within yourself how you feel about something. Don't just be reactionary. Be proactive. So take the time to assess. Take the time to meditate. Take the time to investigate. Someone could be from Illinois, you know. I was hearing that someone may have traveled to Italy also. So someone could be from, you know, someone could be Italian. We also have E. So I'm feeling like there's an ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. I'm hearing that someone's name could be Everett. I'm hearing, I'm every woman. <laughs> I heard that so loud. I cannot hit no Whitney tune, so don't even mess with me. But I'm, I heard that so loud, I had to sing it. So I'm hearing, I'm every woman. So it's like, you are like a Renaissance woman, a Renaissance man even. Like you, you are, you know, just, you have so many skills and gifts and talents. I'm hearing evolve, like you've evolved, you know. You've evolved. You you are someone who is, you know, perhaps every man, every woman's dream. Empress energy, emperor energy. This is beautiful. And I'm, I'm feeling like with you, I feel spirit is telling you that you, the one watching, this is all in pertinence to you. And you're also unique. You're very unique. I feel a lot of you have deep gained also a deep understanding of yourself. You know, you went within, you know, so that shows that you have a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself and you've reached, you know, that level of self mastery and you did the work, you know, so for many of you, you may have had to take, you know, kind of like, you, you know, a step back, go backwards to go forward, but it's like, it didn't, it didn't stop anything. I feel things are looking up. I feel things will improve for you as well. You know, I'm getting improved with this. And I'm hearing upward, you know, upward. Things are upward, upright. I'm hearing erect. You're standing erect. You're stronger. And we got D, divine masculine, divine feminine. Someone's name could be David, Denise, Donald, Danny, Deborah, divine. Devin, Dominique, Dom. Don't let anyone dim your light. 
Don't let anyone steal your joy. I feel that someone that's destined to be in your life is coming and you are also receiving what's destined for you. So I'm just getting a sense of, like I said, wish fulfillment. I'm here in Denmark. I don't know if somebody could be from Denmark. Someone could be from D.C., Detroit. And I'm hearing yin yang, twin flame, soulmate. I'm hearing yes. And I'm hearing you know. Like, it's like, you know, and I see the Q queen. Someone's name could be start with a Q as well. But I'm hearing you know what you, you know, what's, what's, what you want. And I'm hearing do it yourself. And I'm definitely getting someone from D um, Washington, D.C. Because we got EU. This was like a band. They, they sang that song. Doing a bunt. <laughs> so someone could be from D.C. That's just what I'm picking up. I'm hearing Damon. And I'm also hearing like demons. Someone is like, you know, facing their demons. You know, that's the only way. The only way to get through is the only way to get out of a situation is to go through it. And remember, I showed y'all this strength card here. So this is a demon. She's confronting her demons. Remember what I said about fear. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real. So you have to face your demons. If you're going through hell, you got to keep going. You don't stop and sit and watch and look. You just keep on going. So this is very, very beautiful. But face your demons. You can't run from them. It's just like trying to run from your shadow. Because you're a queen. And you're destined for greatness. Let me get one more message, beloveds. And then we're going to wrap it up. All right, spirit of peace, power, and protection. All right, I got my one message. Thank you, spirit. Yep, I said you're a queen. There goes the three, the empress energy. You got a victory, beloveds. Victory is lies ahead. Breakthroughs. This is, you know, things are improving. And I feel a lot of people are definitely watching. A lot of people are keeping tabs. You could deal with someone named Vinny, someone named Vanessa. Some of y'all may play the violin. I heard violin. I'm also getting um, air violin. Like, don't let anybody come in and, like, gaslight you into feeling sorry for them because it's all manipulation. Emotional manipulation is what I heard. So I'm hearing, like, mm, like I'm literally seeing someone doing this. So just, just be mindful that someone's not coming in trying to dupe, dupe you. And I also am hearing, am hearing you're getting your just due, you know, for the work that you've put in, you're getting your just due, you know, I'm hearing you're a viable source. I hear that you are, you know, definitely um, going to be victorious. This is beautiful. And with this three, you've manifested it. This three is giving me like the three of wands. You're just waiting for your manifestations to materialize into this physical reality. We have Rakim walk these streets. So a lot of this has to do, and this is, um, he's from Long Island. So a lot of this is due to you, your journey, you know, the, the journey that you've been on, the journey that you are on currently. That's why you're getting this victory because spirit has been, you know, paying attention and has been watching you. And you've been walking with giants, like I said. So this is your reading, my beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated for you. Um, if you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like, hit the share, hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you're interested in booking a spiritual consultation, click the link in the description box below and it will take you to my Etsy and you can book your consult, spiritual consultation there. And I just want to say thank y'all. Thank you for tuning and tapping in. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Until next time, send a big fat ashe. Yo, peace, love, light.